Hey everybody, welcome back to the Ken Cast. Um, hope you all have a wonderful, or had a wonderful, I suppose. It is January 6th now. Had a wonderful New Year's, whatever the heck, whatever. If anyone even celebrates it, I didn't. I didn't even watch the. Uh, what's it? The countdown. I think about it. But anyway, ah, uh, what's it? I've got new glasses. I'm kind of stressing out about going back to school after winter break, and yeah. That's this just that's just been how it's been. It's currently two fifty in the morning. I'm just in my room. I'm certain uh, Ryan is not gonna be able to go to sleep while I'm talking, but that's that's fine. That's fine. That's cool. That's what you call you know acceptable casualties, right? So, in recent news, I or should I say this was way before, right? But I picked up new glasses, right? We got them at Costco because we're like my mom was like, hey. They're cheaper there. I'm like, ooh. And so, <laughs> and so I was like, okay, we go to Costco, right? One of the ladies there happens to be Vietnamese. Now, although it doesn't, you know, bode much for me, as I mainly speak English, it's very, very nice. I think my parents are slightly racist. I'm more, let's say, racially biased. Let's, <laughs> let, let's say that instead. As in, you know, it's fun seeing someone, you know, represent us in a way, right? And so I'm talking to her, right? And it's like, okay, pick out your glasses. And I recently found out there's actually a size to glasses. I didn't even know this. So hold on. Let me see if we can look at it. Uh, this happens to be in the rim of mine. I think mine's a 51 or a 52. I have no clue. Right? No, it's a, it's a 52, right? So it's based on, like, you know, how wide your face is. Uh, I think the larger the number, like 60s, it doesn't really fit me, almost in a way, because my eyes don't move apart that far no it's not that they don't open that far and i'm asian stop thinking that is that they're not as wide almost in a way right so i have 52 i tried on 48 that just hurt it just it was not nice that that just hurt my face but i'm trying these on right and i've got a couple in mind right i'm trying to look of course to see if i can get glasses that are exactly the same as that which i had before as to attract less attention right because i'm a nervous wreck he tells himself. But I'm looking, I'm looking through them, and uh, what's that? I'm like, okay, what's the price range we got, right? And my dad says, okay, uh, what's it? My company right, allows me to, well, that gives me a discount on these things, something along those lines, like insurance. I think it might have been like that, right? So you can get anything as expensive as you want. I'm like, I don't, I don't believe you. How expensive can I go? And he says, you can go into like the hundreds of dollars. I'm like, sweet, right? Because, you know, if I have the all clear, there's, I'm trying to clean something off my glasses. I'm now frankly annoyed. Don't scratch. Don't scratch. Don't scratch. Okay, we're good. Anyway, anyway, he says, "Okay, how much can we actually go?" I ask him, right? And he tells me, "You can go in the hundreds." I'm like, "That doesn't make any sense." But I'm gonna trust you because you know, what do I know, right? I'm not. I'm not, I'm not the guy who's working, right? And so I'm like, "Okay, we look through the glasses, and I find one that's very nice. It's got a." beautiful silver sil- it was like almost chrome like frame at the top right it's missing the frame at the bottom which was new to me but i didn't know if that really affect anything nice and kind of square right very comfortable thin frame and uh what's it you know the, the i guess there's the frame of the glasses and it's what's re- then there's what rests on like your ears right on the side of your face and it's just so sleek so bl- so just so so nice and black and gray and like you know fits in my hair so i'm like wow this is amazing and so i'm like okay how much does this cost it's like it's 150 i'm like oh my gosh <laughs> like, oh my gosh i'm like it's like oh, hold on moving this oops and i'm like okay can we can we get this almost anyway i'm looking i'm like hey can, are you sure we can get this and he's like yeah yeah we can get it i'm like okay okay and you know, after you pick up a couple of glasses, I got two more. I'm like, okay, do you got, you want any uh, what's it, adaptive ones? The one transition glasses, I think that's what they're called, right? And I, you know, I was given this option before, right? First off, there are two reasons. There, I never picked it, right? And they're generally speaking about two to three reasons. I'll, I'll explain the first one, right? First one, of course, it costs more, right? I don't really. You, your boy's stingy. Maybe, maybe frugal is the better word, but your boy's kind of stingy, right? He's very, he's very uh, conservative with this, with this cash, right? 
And so, of course, I just opt out of it because I'm going to spend most of my time indoors, which is, you know, the second option, right? As a person who doesn't go outside and experience that, what that is, you know, the sun, right? That big ball in the sky, right? The giant light bulb. There's really no need for me to get transition glasses, right? Well, you know, if I'm going to drive, he's like, okay, you should probably get it because, you know, you're going to drive. And when you drive, it's going to be like, you know, sunglasses. I'm like, all right, sweet. I told myself, okay, the, we'll call it the silver glasses, right? Because it sounds cool that way. The silver glasses are a little flashy, right? So I'm not sure if I really want to bring it to school. And that, that's, that's, my, that's my next option, right? I've always found it embarrassing to wear my glasses. Now, there's a little bit of backstory to this, right? I found it embarrassing to wear transition glasses, but more so just glasses in general. It was like fourth grade, right? And I had gotten glasses with my mother, right? Because I couldn't see the board. <laughs> I, I didn't realize my vision was going bad because it, it never really occurred to me. And I'm like, oh, wait. I can't read what's on the board. And it's like, yeah, you should get glasses. Man. All right, I'm going to get glasses. So I'll go get glasses, right? And I got, like, the cutest little, like, you know, nice ovular, uh, cert- like, glasses, right? Very small. I'm not saying, like, you know, if, you, if you're, if you like, you know, in your 30s and wearing this, that's fine. You know, I'm, I ain't judging, right? I'm not going to see you anyway, so that's fine, right? But I'm here. I got this glass, right? And I go into the class. I'm like, wait a second. What is this feeling that I have? What is this feeling? I'm like, I'm not putting on my glasses. No, I refuse. I'm not putting on my glasses. And I'm sitting there, you know, staring at the board, trying to figure out what's going on, right? And I don't even have my glasses. I'm just like, you know, not even pretending like I'm squinting. Like, I'm pretending like I know exactly what's going on. And I'm just looking at it, eyes open, just nothing, just white screen. I'm like, I got this. (laughs) I'm like, all right, let's look at the time. And it's just like, it's just a, it's the, blank clock i'm like oh my gosh i can't even read the time <laughs> i'm like shoot shoot so i want to do right this is this is this is like the this is like the truly like you can make fun of me part right i peer down into my backpack right i open up the case as quietly as i can i pull the glasses i don't even like unravel or don't like un- unravel the glasses right so i can put it on my face no i look i pull it up and i look at the time like i'm squinting under my chair and i look at the time i'm like all right, we got like 15 more minutes. Actually, no, I actually don't even know the time we left, so I just looked at that time for no reason. I put it back, right? And how like it, it like there's that like that chomp kind of motion, right? That the big click, right? When you close the uh, glasses box, right? I'm like doing that as slowly as I can. You know, my my hands are delicate. They're like they're ready to diffuse a bomb, right? And I'm like you're like barely closing this box, and boom, no one sees it, right? And I'm going to school like I did this for like I think a, a couple weeks, right? That's just how I guess shy I really am, right? But then you know I was like I'm far too lazy to do this, so I just put them on one day, right? I was like, to heck with it, I, I put it on. And you know when you put it on, you, it's the complete opposite of what you expect. People didn't bully me, okay? They didn't call me a nerd, right? And uh, let's see. I was just like, you know, it's like, hey, you got glasses. That's cool. I was like, when did you get them? And it's like, oh, let me see. Let me see. You know, they all try on your glasses, right? And so I'm like, I have this, I guess, kind of, I guess it is sort of like a really, I guess it's like unconscious sort of fear of wearing glasses. You know, when I get a new jacket, I don't care. I just put on the jacket. Get a new shirt. No, don't care. Just wear the shirt. Get new pants. No one cares about your pants. So you just don't put on the pants. I just got jeans, right? New shoes, new socks, nothing like that. I don't care, right? Then I put on these glasses. No, I don't even care about my hairstyle. I just wake up and I, I go, right? Bed head and all. It's fine, right? It's it's actually... It's very liberating. When, uh, let's say, when you just don't really care about how you look. I'm not going to lie. It's very nice, right? And sir, how, who told you that? Well, it's this one dude who says, okay, there's something you teenagers don't understand, yeah? I was like, what's that, sir? No one pays attention to you. I'm like, you're totally right. <laughs> you're absolutely right, that man that's making a speech in front of the podium. You're totally right. No one cares how I look. And then I tried it. I'd have been trying for the past <laughs> five, six years. I just wake up and I go and of course now right that's not all the time okay 
if I go to like an event, right, you know, a uh, business event, right, where I gotta wear a suit, right, you know, uh, what's a family event, right, anything like that, we gotta look good, you know, of course, not gonna look like, I don't know what I'm doing, like I'm, a home, hmm, uh, like I don't have, you know, the proper, you know, things, to, you know, do my hair, right, and, you know, I was thinking, you know, do I go bald at one point? <laughs> I was at one point thinking, do I go bald, right? Just to ease myself, just to get rid of, you know, that, ah, uh, what's the word? That burden of hair, almost in a way. But I'm like, I've never, the only bald Asian people I've seen are generally those who are monks. Don't think I'm racist. Just let's be, let's be frank. Let's be real here. Okay, let's be real. Let's be real. I've had a very sheltered view of the world, but nonetheless, that is the case, right? And of course, you know, I'm relatively young, so that's not the case, right? So when I got these new glasses, we're going to go all the way back. We're going to go all the way back. Yeah, we're going to jump all the way back. When I got these new glasses, right, I was thinking, okay, am I going to, am I going to, how, how much, since this doesn't cost anything, right, essentially, right, I can just pick it up because, you know, it's going to be utility. I'm like, okay, is anyone going to care, right? I'm like, no, no one's going to care. So I decided to pick it, right? And I put it on the flamboyant glasses, the chrome glasses, the silver glasses. Because I'm like, oh, I'm not going to wear that. It's not, uh, what's it? You know, it's um, it's too flashy for me to bring to school. So I'm probably not going to wear it anyway. But then, no, 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 I didn't stop there. I thought we were going to end there and I was just going to go on my day. But no, 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 no. Then my brother started doing his glasses, right? And then my father and my mother. And then I start, you know. Put, I put on the chrome glasses because it looked nice, right? And I wanted to see how it looked. And I looked like... I'm trying to think of a, a really a really handsome celebrity. Insert handsome celebrity, right? I looked like insert handsome celebrity, right? And then... It started to hurt my eyes as I looked to the corners. I'm like, wait. My vision's starting to sort of warp on the corners. I'm like, wait a second. That hurts. <laughs> like, it actually hurt my eyes. So I asked, uh, what's it? Uh, I asked the person there. It's like, hey, can you um, bend the glasses? I know, I started doing the adjustments. Can you bend the glasses? Right? And he bends the glasses. And I started realizing, oh, okay. Now I have now I formed the glasses to my face. And he says, are you sure? I'm like, yeah, because, you know, <laughs> at one point, right? It's, just, it's like any IT guy. It's like, hey, yeah, are you, are you sure you're good? And it's like, yeah, we're good. I and mean, it's actually horribly off. And it's like, can you fix it a little more this way, a little more that way? But you know, you're there. You don't want to take this man's time. And you're like, huh, let's just say it's good, right? Because it's good enough is essentially the idea. It's good enough. It's good enough. It's good enough. So I tell him it's good enough. Or I tell him it's, it's great, right? It's wonderful, right? And, you know, in my mind, it's actually just good enough, right? And then I start wearing the glasses, and then I realize, wait a second. In being so shy, I forgot to ask him to adjust my other pair of glasses. And so I'm like, okay. The only one that fits me is technically chrome over here, right? I've apparently gone to navy my glasses now. But anyway, chrome over here, I'm like, okay, I'll just wear chrome then, right? And, uh, what's it? No, I'm. This is still before break, so I'm, I was gonna go to school. Right? I was like, okay, we'll just put it on to go to school. And when I put it on, I was like, wait, what is this feeling of intense, <laughs> of intense anxiousness and anxiety? I'm like, I'm walking the building, right, and I just see the whole thing just turn dark. I'm like, wait, I don't even realize it because it was very tra transition glasses were very, very, they were very smooth. I, I didn't even notice it the first time I did it, and then I was like, wait a second, pull my glasses up. I'm like, oh. Take it. I'm like, oh, it's not that dark, right? Take off my glass. I realize it's like shades. I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I look like I look like I'm I'm so rich and I like you know, flaunting flaunting my stuff. I'm like, no, 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 no. This is not what I want to come across as. And so you know, just anxiety starts building up, right? No, not like actual like you know horrible anxiety, right? Just like you know mild, uh, let's say sort of you know, that, that fear of being judged almost in a way, right? And I walk in the building, right? And I'm like, I gotta cover my face, cause somehow that's no, that's not gonna garner more attention. Me just hovering over my face, trying to peer through. This. <laughs> you know, I think that would garner more attention. So if I just walk through, not caring, right? Put on my glasses and walk through. I think the worst I would get is, hey, look at that nerd over there, right? And you know, he'd just turn to his friends and laugh at me, right? That's the worst that could probably happen. And I never, I never even noticed it, 
Because I'd start going into like, you know, autopilot mode, right? Where if I'm walking through the hallways of the school, I'm like, I'm just not even looking. I'm not even looking at other people. I got my headphones on, right? And I'm just straightforward. Just go to where you want to go. Destination set. Begin going to destination. Turn right in 14 sandwiches, right? And I kind of, that didn't really work the first time. Because, you know, I'm walking through. And I'm actually trying to cover my face almost in a way. Kind of a nervous wreck. Kind of a nervous wreck. Right? And then I... I hadn't really met my... I didn't really meet any friends. So I was, you know, kind of just walking in and out of this building. Right? Nice and easy. Done. Right? And then I wore it. Right? And my friend said, Hey, you want to go out and get something to eat? Right? Because, you know, that's only the times when I... Well, I went to class. Right? So no one really noticed the new glasses. Actually, someone did. Very quickly, someone noticed my new glasses. And I was very, very impressed that they noticed it. I was very impressed. Leave it to John to figure that out. Very impressed with you, John. He figured that out like instantly. I looked at him and was like, hey, John, how you doing? You know, give him the usual handshake when I get to the, the first period. And he's like, oh, hey, Kenny. He's like, did you get new glasses? I'm like, I, yes, I did. I was like, oh, they look good. I'm like, wow, I am very impressed, John. I, Let's see, how long would it take me to realize I want new glasses? Four months? <laughs> Four months, no, 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 three and a half months, right? I'm talking like closest friend, you know, right? Like if I spent like my friend didn't have glasses and they came into school wearing completely new glasses, right? Three and a half months, I figure it out. I'm a very, very, I'm not very detail oriented, unfortunately, which is odd because, no, no, that's definitely correct. I'm not very detail oriented. Anyway. So he didn't really realize that I had uh, what's the, the transition glasses because I was already inside the building at that point. They came, it went away in like a minute. It was very, very useful, right? And I go through the rest of the day not really caring. But then my friends ask me, you know, at, at lunchtime, hey, you want to go out and get some food? I'm like, I got you. So I jump in the car. I'm like, all right, you guys are going to see a major change when I go inside. I'm like, okay, okay. And they have no idea what I'm talking about, right? They don't, they don't realize, which it's fine, you know? Sir, are you pouting? I'm not pouting, I swear. Anyway. <laughs> I don't really care about that. If anyone comments on this, I'm like, thank you. Side note, I have no clue how to respond to someone complimenting me. I think a lot of people have this problem. I hope that I'm not the only one, right? Someone says, oh my God, look at how you look great. You know, it's like, thank you. And that's it. I got nothing else to say. My, my mind just goes blank and I feel horrible. So I'm like, oh, it's like, oh, we're at in, you know, meeting this person looks very lovely. I'm like, oh, I should compliment back on how lovely this dress fits her. You know, how wonderful that suit fits him. And I'm like, you know, I love what you're doing with your hair kind of stuff. Right? All these things pop in my mind of like right now, right? And then I'm like, well, I'm there. I'm like, oh, thank you. Thank you. And that's it. That's it. I just got nothing else. I'm just, I'm just brain dead. I'm just brain dead. There's nothing else after that. But anyway. I'm here, right? I go outside, and I get my new glasses, right? And I'm like, all right, gentlemen, feast your eyes. Nothing like that. I, that, I don't remember exactly what I said, right? And I'm like, hey, dude, that's cool. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, what? Nani? I'm like, I'm like, I'm actually like, you know, shocked. I'm legitimately shocked. I'm like, wow, I didn't realize. Know, I'm assuming, right? If they saw that someone else, right? They might make fun of them. And by um. I make my friends seem like horrible people. No, no, no. I should say, right? It's like, wow, look at that guy, right? And that's it. That's probably all they'd say. And then we move on, right? We might not even see him. They might not even say it. They just look at him, right? And stop. That's essentially what they do. I'm like, okay. But when it's me, when it's when it's like friends, it's like, wow, these guys are amazing people because they look at me and they support me. And I felt really warm and happy at that point. I was, I was very grateful for that. Anyway, other than that moment of very nice satisfaction, right? You know, they said, oh, it's like, that's really cool. And then they stopped there because, you know, it didn't really matter, right? It's just a small thing I want to wear. And do I, do I suspect ulterior motives, right? And I was like, no, let's just move the conversation. Uh, I'm, maybe I'm thinking too much about this. Maybe I'm thinking too much about this. I'm probably thinking too much about this. Anyway. And I was like, okay, maybe this is just, you know, friends being friends, almost in a way, right? It's like, oh, it's like, you know, when you think your friend's an idiot, right? But you join him anyway because, you know, you'd rather both be idiots and only let one person take the blame, almost in a way, right? And so, I, you know, I, I keep bringing it to school because it's it's not 
scratched up with a basketball that smacked him in the face on the day afterwards, right? Like Noel's glasses. So, oops. So, I go to school again, right? And this time, it's finals week, okay? So I only go to school for a very set period of amount of, a set amount of time, right? And when I walk in, I see my friend studying for like, you know, the finals, right? And I walk in and I'm like, I feel like I'm, again, I feel that anxiety, right? It's like, oh no, these are people I actually know, right? And I, I give them the handshake and all that kind of stuff around them. I actually handshake them, like legitimately handshake them. Not like the, uh, you know, the pat on the hand, the cool swish back and forth, like, you know, an odd lock, you know, some secret handshake kind of stuff, right? No, no, it's actually just full on firm business handshake and it's, it's very nice. I don't know who instigated is instigated the real word? That sounds kind of mean. I don't know who started that. But nonetheless, I do it. Right? Is it a quirk among us? Definitely. I don't think anyone else in the school does that. But <laughs> but 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 when I walk in it's like whoa and then they start commenting on it and it's like wow that's really cool. Essentially is what they're saying. I I don't wanna go into that, right? I, again, felt really happy because, you know, I didn't expect this. And it's such a pleasant surprise. I think the term is uh, a duck comes bearing green onions. And you might be thinking, you might be saying, what did you just say? Right? And I said, a duck comes bearing green onions, right? It's, uh, let's see, I think it's a Japanese saying. You know that Pokemon Farfetch'd? Hold on, let me let me see. What, oh, I think it's called Farfetch'd. far did. Uh, Pokemon, right? Ah, uh, shoot, I can't type. Let me see here. It's literally a duck holding a leak, right? And it's like, what is what is the, what is possibly the inspiration for this Pokemon? Well, it's literally the term. Uh, what's it? Uh, a duck comes bearing green onions, and it's essentially, uh, I'd say essentially a lot, don't I? But it's, it's. To symbolize, you know, when something unexpected happens, right? But it's a good thing. It's a very good thing. Unexpecting, surprising, but convenient. Right? A duck come a duck, a duck comes bearing green onions, right? So this encounter that I had with my friends was very much like a duck bearing green onions. I I I was like, wow. I was like, wow. <laughs> and of course, you know, no one cares at this point, right? And so I guess this kind of goes back to yeah, no one, if you don't know them, right? No one really cares how you look. Well, if you make a change, right? And a significant one, even I would consider glasses on the more significant side, almost a, probably along the lines of getting a new jacket, especially if you wear the same jacket all the time, right? It's a little bit more significant, not as bold as a haircut change, right? Not nearly as bold, that's like five levels up. Right, this is like level, I don't know, 43, right? The clothes are like, give or take 16, right? And the hairstyle is about 74, right? In terms of, you know, on a scale of 0 to 100. Completely arbitrary numbers, right? <laughs> but, uh, what's it? People who don't know you look at you and, you know, they get an opinion of you, right? But that's not really what matters. You will never meet them. And if you do, they're definitely not going to judge you on you know what glasses you wear the hairstyle you have they'll have preconceived notions but then you start talking you start conversing and that changes right and so that shouldn't really matter but then i'm reminded again that when you have friends that know you well right and they see these changes even small changes they compliment you on it almost as if it's like i'm not going to say it's what they should do definitely not that's definitely their choice but good friends, in my opinion, will do that. Sure, what's a good friend to you? That's a good point. I have no clue. <laughs> That's a very good point, and I have no clue how to define it. Now, it's one of those when you see it, you know it kind of things, right? And, of course, everyone's lived, so when they see it, they know it, right? Even if it's a random person, right? Just that kindness, right? You could consider them good friends. Just by seeing it, you know it. And having that interaction just reminded me how lucky I am to have such wonderful friends. Now, and we, are you bragging, sir? Are you possibly bragging? No, no, no. Allow me to to appreciate my friends, right? Not to say that others 
No, that I no, no one else has friends like these. Although I'd probably argue that as well. How am I trying to say this, right? Not to say, look at me, I have the coolest friends, right? But rather, I am grateful that these friends are like that, right? So it's a very, it's a very lovely story. I guess this kind of falls in line with New Year's kind of thing, right? Just general feel good. I don't know. That's just that's just how it's been. It's been nice. It's been nice. I've got nothing else to talk about. I've kind of lost it. No, honestly, I expected. I didn't expect that to take twenty five minutes, but now with five minutes left, I've. I have no clue what to talk about. I'm not, are you wearing the glasses now, sir? Yes, yes, I am. Are they any dirty, sir? No, no, they're they're quite all right. Thank you, thank you. Talk a little more about the about, about why you're wearing a you know a suit when you're going to school. That's a good question. So, I mean, that's that's a that's not a question. That's a that's something I should go into. Right? We are supposed to be business. This is this is going all the way back to why I'm wearing a suit, right? There's a couple of times where I've worn a suit, right? Mainly because I don't do a lot of professional things in my life, so I don't wear that many suits, right? One was a uh, what's it, competition, right? And the other, which is much more recently, right, was uh, what's it, a uh, NHS, right? It was NHS, uh, National Honor Society, for those who don't know, right? And it was an induction ceremony, and it's like, okay, come in wearing you know nice clothes. And I, not being here before, asked other people who have been inducted, hey, what do I wear? Because this is business, but is that like suit and tie kind of thing, right? And I asked my friends, and they said, yeah, yeah, some people wear suit and ties. I'm like, oh, okay, okay, okay. So should I wear suit and ties? Because <laughs> I say some people, and I, I have no clue what that means. Like, you know, you should wear it, or, you know, don't wear it. Those people are weird kind of thing. I was like, okay, yeah, you you should wear your suit. I'm gonna wear my suit. I'm like, okay, I'll wear my suit, right? And I go in there with my dad, wear my suit, you know, nice and clean, right? And I'm like the first person there, right? And oh, I feel like I'm bragging now because what? Ah, oh, I definitely feel like I'm bragging. I don't want to. I don't want to come off across that, right? I don't want to come across that. But I'll just tell you about the induction ceremony in general, right? When I wore my suit in there, it was just one other person, right? And this person. I happened to have a crush on for just a little bit, right? Just just at that time, right? How long was this ago? I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you how long this was ago. Because if you're smart, you can figure it out. If you know me. If you don't know me, you don't need to know. <laughs> All right? Anyway, so I'm going in here. It's a person, I, it's, it's a person I, I've grown attached to. Let's just say that, right? So that sounds kind of weird. All right. How can I put this in a way that's not creepy, but is also kind of kind of adorable? Right? That's essentially what I'm thinking of. I think having a crush on them is definitely one of them, right? Did it, will it, would I ever make any moves? Will I ever make any moves? Probably not. Probably not. Probably not, because they're younger than me. So yeah, probably probably not. Is there a, are, you, are you dare saying this in age? No, 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 no. Don't get me wrong. Don't get my intentions wrong, right? There's other reasons, but that's besides the point, right? Anyway, I go in, right? And this is pulling up to the point where it's like, you know, I don't know how to compliment other people, right? Because I go in wearing my suit. I'm like, hey, insert name, right? Ah, uh, I need a random name. Uh, I can't just put, oh, I'll name it my bird, Susan. All right? I'll, I'll, I'll name it after my bird, Susan, right? So I hate Susan, right? And then, you know, Susan over here is wearing something that I'm like, Almost enamored. Is that the right word? Enamored? Let me see. Uh, I'm really searching up a lot right now. Enamored. Fill the feeling with love. Maybe that's a little too much. I'm a little like, I'm like wow, that looks really nice. So maybe enamored, right? And no, I want to say something. But I've got that like nerd moment, right? We're just nothing. I say nothing. I say absolutely nothing. I'm like, <sighs> and then, you know, she compliments my suit. I'm like, <sighs> I'm like, oh no, I've, I've made it. And it's like one of those moments. Where it's like you're in a game, and you had the you had the decision, right? You had the opportunity to get massive amounts of you know income or you know a, a unique event kind of thing, right? And I just blew it. I just blew it right there. I'm like, Gah! and I was like, I was stabbed in the heart, right? But wearing the suit, people kind of said the same thing, right? 
Uh, my friends put it and it's like, wow, man, you look really good, right? And of course, I love them back, right? And these guys are bros. So I, you know, I compliment them on their stuff, which makes me feel even worse, in all honesty. But, you know, I'm looking at all these other people and I'm thinking, you know, of course they look better than I do, right? And they think, wow, this guy looks nice. I'm not going to dare say that. I'm not going to dare say I know what they think, right? But I'm going through and saying, wow, these guys probably look better than I do, right? And I'm loving it because I'm just going around just hugging people with my suit. You know, we're, taking, we're taking photos. It's like, hey, man, it's like we look like mob bosses. Like, yeah, you shouldn't say that at an induction ceremony. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Anyway, I guess we'll stop there. The reason why I wore the suit, I wore it, you know, went up. When I got my uh, paper saying it was documents, uh, let's say, you know, my friends, you know, started being gay. Uh, <laughs> no, we'll, we'll stop right there. We'll stop right there. Right? It was very fun. Right? Moral of the story is, I have no clue. Thank you for listening to the KenCast episode something, something, something. Right? I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. And for those who are in the school biz, right? We'll be fine. We'll get through it. It'll be a long, long insert time length. But we'll get through it together. All right. Anyway, see you. Please.